Hey, Lucas here. Um, I am your Friday trans ball of fluff, and the topic for this week is Cece McDonald. Um, if you're not aware, Cece McDonald is a trans woman of color from Minneapolis, Minnesota, where I happen to be from. And uh, she pretty much defended herself against uh, people who were yelling transphobic and uh, racist comments at her and her friends. And she defended herself, which ended up killing one of the uh, people uh, spewing these words against them. And she's pretty much in jail because of that, because she defended herself. And it's a really fucked up situation. And um, it's one of those stories that uh, has made it uh, national news, probably even global news at this point, um, considering, uh, a lot of the, uh, internet sort of, uh, spreading the word, uh, thing via YouTube, Tumblr, Facebook, Twitter, all those things. Um, recently she was transferred to a prison in St. Cloud, and, uh, as far as I'm aware of, she's in a men's prison right now, which seriously fucked up. And from a couple of the articles I was reading, it was basically like, well, where do we put her? Where she's going to be most safe? And, you know, the justice system, I say this very loosely because the justice system does not provide justice for anyone who... Uh, isn't white, isn't cisgender, isn't rich, um, isn't, uh, so many fucking things. Um, but yeah, they're pretty much basing where she goes on her genitals, which shouldn't be, you know, a priority in the first place, like, for fuck's sake, like, when are, you know, government sort of base places are going to get into their head that genitals does not equal gender. Like, genitals really are just, you know, flesh decorations on our body. Like, why are we still, like, facing, like, putting priority over which genitals which people have and placing them according to that and just... Anyways. Um, CC uh, is in St. Cloud now, and, um... I am not sure if she's going to be there for the rest of her 41-month uh, prison sentence. Um, I don't blame her at all for taking the plea agreement because based on the fact that she is a trans woman of color, she wouldn't have gotten a better deal, which is... <laughs> that's, that is essentially essentially fucked up, and... Um, I don't know, it just, it just breaks my heart, honestly, that someone has to pretty much decide, um, if they're going to take a plea agreement so then they can spend 41 months in jail for defending themselves against a douche nozzle who is probably going to try to kill them. Like, in what... In what crazy world is this okay? Apparently this one. Apparently. Because it happens all the time, and, you know... <sighs> like, there are more situations and cases other than CCs that we don't hear about, but this essentially happens all the time. Um... <sighs> yeah, I... I don't know. It, it's just really infuriating that even some people who are trans aren't on CC's side. Like, even if you're not trans, even if you're just a part of the GLBT community, even if you're an ally, even if you're a human being, you need to be on CC's side. Like, the, it's just, you, you have to. Like, you have to. <sighs> I don't know. I'm, I keep CC in my thoughts every day. I am sending, like, positive vibe aura um, energies from my heart, um, and send it out. Um, I haven't met her. I hope to meet her someday. Um, 
I sent her a letter a couple weeks before she got transferred to St. Cloud. Um, so I don't know if that reached her yet, but um, I know friends who are have pretty much been in the front line fighting for G CeCe's justice, like, since the very beginning, and, like, just, ah, uh, just everyone's contributions and struggles and, like, uh, tenacity for trying to get CC free, and, like, I've seen, uh, spray paint signs of free CC from, like, different parts of the country and different parts of the world, which is amazing, like, amazing that people from so far away who have no, like, who probably will never meet CC are still on our side, and, like, that, that does, um, give me hope for our community, and, um, yeah, just, I don't know, it's just a very sad story that should have not ended her in prison, and it could have been a lot worse with her being dead because of transphobic, racist, like, scum of the earth, essentially, and, yeah, I don't know, it just... Yeah, that that is essentially my topic on CC McDonald. Um, so I'll see you next week. Um, I hope you'll keep CC in your thoughts, prayers, good vibes, positive energies, whatever. Um, today and you know for a long time to come because this probably will not be over for a long time. But yeah, see you.